It's going to be three years come this September since the Sega Genesis Mini released. I really love this device. It has a ton of games. The packaging was awesome. I think the quality was really good. Came with 42 games, uh, I believe is what it was, right? Yeah, 40 classic plus two bonus titles. So yeah, 42 games. I, I love the aesthetic of everything. Really screamed like, hey, this is the 90s. Like, let's get into it type of thing, right? The, the You know... It was a multi-region release. Every region got theirs. Uh, in the U.S., you know, we got the big, chunky three-button controllers, and I like that, but at the same time, a lot of people would have preferred for it to come with six-button controllers. There were options for that, but, yeah, I mean, with some of the games that are included, six-button controller stock would have been nice and then just had those three-button ones, you know, maybe separate. I, I don't know. But now we got some pretty cool news and I think some people may be a little indifferent on this, and I do have my thoughts. Now, Sega just announced the Mega Drive Mini 2 and some accessories for it as well. So this was, you know, the Model 1. Now they're coming out with the Model 2. I dig this, but I was really hoping for a different direction. I was just thinking about this last night. Like, man, I, I got to revisit the Genesis, uh, you know, the Genesis Mini 2. And, and maybe play some games on it or something. I don't know. And then all of a sudden, this was announced. And it's coming out this year, October 27th. Uh, in Japan, the price is 9,980 yen, excluding tax. Uh, 10,978 with tax. Okay, cool, right? A little, a little pricey, but this one's coming with more than 50 games from what I understand. Now, I was really hoping they would do like a... Master System Mini, a Dreamcast Mini. Maybe in the future they will. And right now it's just kind of like, let's continue on with the Genesis Mini or Mega Drive Mini. But it's not just Mega Drive or Sega Genesis games on this. So let's go ahead and take a look. The definitive mini hardware, Mega Drive Mini, which attracted attention as the first game console. But this is all like translated from Japanese. So it's going to be like kind of wonky here. The new now, now a further miniaturization with the new design that reproduces the Mega Drive 2. So the, the model two, right? Equipped with Mega C D titles. So this time around, we got some Sega C D titles on this thing. And I think this is pretty cool. And they are gonna be selling the Mega C D two attachment separately. It's just for aesthetics, right? It was up on uh, Amazon Japan. Let me see if it's still up there. Uh right here. Uh temporarily out of stock so from what i understood you couldn't order this to be shipped to the u.s but the model 2 mini you could but this one just yeah it, it wasn't shipping just for aesthetics wasn't shipping to the u.s sometimes they do that and then it, it'll it'll shift over later where it's opened up to be shipped to the u.s as well so let's continue on the recording game or you know the included games have been renewed you can enjoy 50 popular total titles when I heard it might be more than 50, uh, exceeding the 42 of the previous. In addition, bonus titles that were not released at that time will be added to provide a volume that cannot be played. What the hell does... Like I said, this Google Translate can be a little wonky at times, all right? So let's take a look. If you want to play CD titles, you have to be a bodycon pair. For those who want to stick to the main body design, we will release a new decoration kit, Megadora Tower Mini 2 that faithfully reproduces the look. And it comes like <laughs> some little fake CDs, right? That, that's cool, that's cool. Let's, let's keep it moving. So here we go, HDMI comes with the fighting pad six button controller as standard as in the previous. Uh, numerous games, not only Sega titles, but many third party titles. We'll get to what they've announced so far. Uh, let's go on. The main body is the same as the previous uh, Mega Drive 2 released in 93. Reduced about 55% of the original. Okay. And they're working with M2 again on this. So I think that's a good thing. Uh, let's move forward. Main specifications. Does this just come with one controller? Yeah, it just comes with one controller, and they are going to be selling controllers separately for this. So that's one thing to keep in mind here. USB uh, device power is required. Five volts, two amps or higher can be used. 
So it's going to come with the cable, but no brick. Like that just kind of seems like the norm nowadays. And they list the body size. I will, for those who want to know what it is in inches, I will do the math and overlay it up here somewhere for the uh, body size of the system. But there you go. Video output 720p, 480p, linear PCM uh, audio output. 2,500 yen for an additional controller. I don't know what the exchange rate is right now, but I think that might be like, it, it's probably around 20, a little over 20 bucks maybe right now. I mean, that, that always changes, but yeah. All right, recorded titles. So these are the uh, games that have been announced so far. Sega CD or Mega CD games, right? Sylphid, Shining Force, and Sonic CD. What else? We got a few more. We got a few more. The story of Yuma Mikken. I don't know what that is. Oh, Popful Mail. Okay. And then we have uh, some cartridge games, right? So those were the Mega CD titles. I'm sure there will be more because they haven't announced the full game list yet. Now, one thing to note, obviously, we're looking at the Japanese stuff. This has not been confirmed for a worldwide release yet. I would think it would be kind of lame if they didn't. Because, I mean, I think the Genesis Mini did fairly well. Wouldn't make sense not to do the follow-up. I mean, will this stay a Japanese exclusive? You can order one. I've ordered one off of Amazon Japan. Uh, you can order them from there. The system will ship to the U.S., but when they had the, uh, the, the Mega CD attachment, it wouldn't ship when it was in stock earlier. But, okay, let's continue looking at some of the included games. So, Virtual Racing. Okay. Bonanza Bros, Shining in the Darkness, Thunder Force 4, Magical Taruroto-kun, I am not familiar with that one, and then Fantasy Zone. I think Fantasy Zone, can you click on these? Yeah, you can click on them. I think they're supposed to be like special version or something like that. Release, uh... We also added a mode for beginners. Okay, I think I read somewhere else that Fantasy Zone was like a special version. Let's see if this has some screenshots here. Okay. It, you know, with a lot of these, um, if they only come out with a Japanese version, you know, I'm sure the, uh, the UI will have uh, multiple language options, but the games won't necessarily. But a lot of times these games were not text heavy, unless they're role-playing games or strategy games type of thing. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you wind up importing it, I mean, I'm really hoping this comes out in the U.S. I would be surprised if they include multiple regions on each one of these. But for now, I'm just going to assume like, hey, Shining in the Darkness is going to be the Japanese version because it's a Japanese product at this time until they, they say otherwise, right? So there you go. That's cool. I like when they, you know, they announce the games and they have like a little bit of information for each one. Popful Mail was 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 a, a, a great game. Very cool. There we go. Yeah, so you see here, they show the original release date, right? So Popful Mail, 1994, uh, April 1st, right? But then when we clicked on, uh, down here on Fantasy Zone, it had October 27th. So yeah, this, this has to be like a new version, right? Released for this. Okay. Because that's what it looks like. Like they're they're announcing the uh, original release dates. And then what was this one? A, qu a quiet horror lurks in the wandering butterfly's mansion. A younger sister who disappeared in a strange hall and a boy who pursues that figure. So it's a fantasy, a, a horror, not a fantasy, horror, horror game. Interesting. Yeah, see? 93 on that one. So, so far, I mean, interesting list, but they, this is only what, uh, three, six, nine, eleven 11 games that they've announced out of the 50 plus games, right? All right, let's go to, let's go to media. It looks like some of this stuff is, uh, is grayed out. Inheriting the legend. So they got a, they got a few things you could look at if, you, if you're interested. Manual and support and system. Looks like they'll be adding more information later. I'm really hoping this one comes out in the U.S. I, I mean, we already have the, Meg, the the Genesis Mini, but 
to have a follow-up, I, I would grab it. I like these official products. Um, I know there's plenty of ways to play these games. Don't get it twisted. I could care less. Play however you want. But these mini consoles really tickle it for me, the official ones. And, you know, I, I've been digging it. So I'm pretty excited for this. Still would have liked to see a, a Master System, Dreamcast, Saturn Mini, maybe in the future. But right now it looks like they're still focusing in on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. Let me know what you think down below. Really do appreciate you guys. Catch you on the next one. Bye.